The DRDO has successfully test fired the Army version medium range surface to air missile from the integrated test range at Balasore, during which it intercepted a high speed aerial target at long range, and the target was destroyed by the missile in a direct hit. This is the second test of the Army variant of the 70 km range Indo Israeli MR SAM, and it had also successfully destroyed a high speed unmanned aerial target during its last test in December 2020. The Army variant features a mobile container design, as it is meant to protect vital Army installations, but will also move with strike formations deep inside enemy territory to protect them from aerial threats. The DRDO has released a tender on 24 March, for the manufacturing and supply of adapter assembly and ramp assembly for HS4, which means that the DRDO has started the fabrication process of fourth hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. In the past three successful tests of the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, the hypersonic cruise vehicle was mounted on an Agni-1 solid rocket motor to take it to the required altitude after which the cruise vehicle was ejected out of the launch vehicle, but interestingly, the K-4 missile will now be used as a booster instead of the Agni-1, which features a much powerful solid fuel booster. The third test of hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle was not officially announced, and chances are that the DRDO will not release any information on future tests of this strategic hypersonic cruise missile. The DRDO has started fabrication of 10 more Manic small turbofan engine, that will be used for few more rounds of testing of the indigenous technology cruise missile, which is just a technological demonstrator program for the testing and validating the Manic engine. The 4.25 kN thrust Manic engine will eventually find its way into the DRDO's long-range land attack cruise missile program. The DRDO developed corner shot weapon system will soon be inducted by the Central Reserve Police Force and the JNK Police. It can accommodate a 9mm pistol and 40mm under barrel grenade launcher, and is equipped with day and night camera, laser aiming device, tactical flashlight, a color LCD monitor and rechargeable battery, and is highly suited for urban close quarter situations. Israeli firm Elbit Systems has announced that it has been awarded a $130 million contract to deliver an artillery munitions production line in a country in Asia-Pacific region. The contract will be performed over a period of 2.5 years, and under the contract, Elbit Systems will build a turnkey industrial complex for enhanced manufacturing of artillery munitions. The Indian Navy will commission a new Indian Naval Air Squadron 316 on 29 March at INS Hansa in Goa, and its commissioning will substantially increase the surveillance as well as anti-ship and anti-submarine targeting capability of the Indian Navy. The Naval Air Squadron 316 will operate four P-8 maritime aircraft, that features advanced sensors and weapons package to conduct long-range anti-ship and anti-submarine reconnaissance and strike missions. After the recent test of 13,000 km range into continental ballistic missile by North Korea, India's permanent representative to United Nations has told the UN Security Council that there is a need for international action on the proliferation of nuclear and missile technologies to North Korea, as it is a threat to the region's security. He did not mention Pakistan, but the transfer of nuclear technology by Pakistan for North Korea's missile is well documented. Although the US has sanctioned Russia over the last four weeks, but experts have said that the Biden administration will not sanction India for buying the S-400 systems from Russia. US State Department spokesperson Ned Price has also said that India's strong dependency on Russia was the outcome of an era in which Washington and some of its partner countries were unwilling to have defense and security ties with India.